to finish tonight's episode, Kitty went to Kilmacurra Botanic Gardens in Wicklow. Their rhododendron collection was in full bloom when she visited in May. In the horticulture world, they say that every plant has a story. And this is very true of one particular garden that we are visiting next. This is Kilmacurra. The garden here has a fascinating past and another great story to tell. It became an unofficial annex of the National Botanical Gardens in Glasnevin when a relationship was struck up between the curator of Glasnevin, David Moore, and the owners of Kilmacurra, the Acton family. And who best to get the inside track on this story than head tour guide, Mary O'Neill Maloney. Originally, it was a very formal landscape and Thomas and Janet recreated what you kind of get that lovely essence of a touch of wildness about the gardens. And I know there's links between this garden and Glass Nevin. How did that come about? The brother and sister that I mentioned, Thomas and Janet Acton, they were great friends with two successive curators in Glass Nevin in the National Botanic Gardens. And they visited here regularly and they brought down a lot of plants to Kilmacurra. At the moment, like, we have approximately 180 species of rhododendrons growing and 420 hybrids. But out of that 1,200, there's approximately a quarter of those critically endangered in the wild. We're preserving the past, but we're planting for the future. The mid-1800s was known as the golden era of plant exploration. And one famous plant hunter of the times went to the Himalayas and got his hands on some rhododendron seeds and brought them back to Europe. And eventually some of these seeds ended up in the National Botanical Gardens in Dublin. But there was only one problem. So what was the problem? The soil. So Glasnevin soil is much more alkaline and Kilmacurra is acidic and we've deep brown earth gorgeous climate, lovely rainfall. So any of the plants that were not suitable to grow in Glasnevin came down to Kilmacurra. Kilmacurra then is that botanical refuge for these gorgeous plants. And I'm guessing it was some of the plant hunters throughout the years that brought back some species. Oh yes, back in the 1800s. Could you imagine Joseph Hooker out in India collecting seeds they came back to the National Botanic Gardens, Glass and Evan, and then those plants found their way down here. And to think, you know, there are still some growing in this garden from that amazing man. Plants just seem to feel at home in Kilmacurra. Kilmacurra not only has a wonderful collection of plants found by plant hunters, but it also boasts a large and diverse collection of rhododendrons in Europe. And many of these varieties thrive due to our mild winters and high rainfall. So Seamus, we're now on the, the Broadwalk. Yes, and of course the origin of the rhododendron that's planted along it is very grand too. So anybody who's watched Downton Abbey, um, it, it's filmed in High Clear Castle. So this is the High Clear rhododendron that you're looking at and it was bred there in 1828. They, they raised si uh, about 1800 seedlings. So uh, there's a huge number of them were sent out. Janet Acton, who gardened here in Victorian times, she lured it because she loved it so much and she lined the entire walk with it. Thomas Acton managed the estate here like a private botanical garden, but he also spent many years curating the property around the house. And now there are plans to restore this once beautiful home. Gosh, it's such an impressive landscape here. It's sad to see the original house in such a sorry state. Yeah, well, particularly since it sits at the heart of the estate and the gardens. You know, um, the problem with the house, of course, is that it's had a series of fires in it in 1978 and again in 1982. But there is good news, Kitty. So we begin works on the house uh, later this autumn. Oh, brilliant. And is that a full restoration? So what we're going to do is put a roof back over it, doors, windows and floors, and that will allow the building to dry out and then we'll move into phase two which is the sort of the reworking the interior of, of the house. 
that's the, the wonderful part of it. You know, Kilmacar is coming into its second golden era between the restoration of gardens and, you know, fixing the house. Uh, and it really will add to th that visitor experience when people come to visit us. I love that, the second golden era. Of well, that's what we'd like to hope, and we do feel that it's happier times for Kilmacar.